Hey everyone, I'm back and today I'm in a different spot. Um, I just got done with work and I have an ASOS haul for you. I did do um, an ASOS order last month and now this month I didn't share with you my last month because I only bought four things and I returned one. Um, I might share one of those things with you. You know what? I probably will. I'll do that once I get to same section. So I'll start with the one that just came in today and then I'll show you the other one, the other one purchase from my previous one. You know what? I'll just tell you. <laughs> I'll show that one, but I'll tell you the other two items that I got. I got a pair of black skinny jeans from the brand Stradivarius, I want to say. Um, they're super comfy and they feel like leggings. The thing is, they are very short, and the legs are tight, but the waist, because it's high-waisted, is too big for me, but I kept them anyways, because I can just belt it, and they're super comfortable, so they do smell real bad, though. That is the thing about black pants. There's a lot that smell bad. Um, the pants I'm currently wearing are from H&M, and they also smell they're just like outgassing. Is that? I've heard. I saw that on the internet. I don't know if that's the proper term. They're just. Ugh, they smell awful. But the ones that I bought from ASOS are just so comfy. But they are very short. I'm almost 5'8. And they're supposed to be like ankle pants. But if you are my height, they are past the ankle. <laughs> or higher. They are much higher. They're like. Can I show you? <clears throat> Here is my lip. Oh, you can't see it. Maybe I should use my other leg. I'm trying. Okay, here's my leg. And like, this is where my pants currently hit, and these are fine. But those pants hit like up here. If not, maybe a little higher. So if you're tall, I'll, I'll try to link what I can, I guess. But they were all from the ASOS sale slash clearance. So if you're tall like me, they will be very short. Um, but if you were shorter than me, like I'm sure if I was 5'5", five five, they'd be perfect. But I am two or three inches taller than that, so they are much shorter. But I still wear them, and they're very comfortable. The other thing I'm not going to show you is a belt I bought. is just a plain black belt with gold hardware. That's a nice belt. <laughs> and then the thing I returned was a pair of key sunglasses because they didn't look like they were pictured. So there's that. Um, I'll grab my last thing, which is the most exciting thing. Later, I'll, I'll start back in here, and when the right time comes, I'll show you the last thing I got from my other ASOS haul. Okay, so, okay, I already opened it. <laughs> Sorry, taking some of the Safado packaging. The two the first things I got were more belts. I need belts because um, a lot of my pants, I have to go up a size or two to fit my hips because my, I wear high-waisted stuff, so a lot of it is too big in the waist. I'm like technically like a, maybe a, a six-ish, um, but I have to get like an eight or sometimes a 10 to fit my hips. Um, I have no butt, but I have wide hips. And then, so then it fits my hips, but then it's too loose everywhere else. If I get something that fits my waist, it's way too tight on my hips. So that's why power of belts come in. These belts were under $10, which is great. There's this one, this is from ASOS's brand simple black and then it has these are both like western american western style so this is just like some burnished gold situation happening here and this can get pretty small this is a this is a small so this is good for that it's all the belts i currently have they're getting pretty worn because i have to like pull them pretty tight to my this one. anyways this is the other one this is from i believe new look yeah so it's a white belt with gold, I mean gold, <laughs> silver, metal pieces here. And it's one of those really cool like double belts, like this middle piece with the, this part of the belt is like one free standing piece, like you take that completely off and then you just have one white band with two buckles on it without anything to have holes in them. There's this, this is a small medium, I believe it came in. Yeah, small slash medium. Because you can make it larger by putting it on the different holes. 
and whatnot. So this is kind of cool. I don't want any white belt. I, the only color belt I have is this pink one that I currently have on. There's this, and this is going to be really cool. I've wanted a double buckle belt for a hot minute now, so I'm glad I got this for like 6 or $7 now. On, on the clearance, so hopefully it'll look cool. Can I get to the... Yeah, see? Cool. Sorry. I'm uncool. So, I got me a backpack. And not like a cute little backpack, because I have a lot of those. <laughs> Believe me, I have cute little backpacks that I use. I needed to replace like my backpack that I would use for traveling. I've traveled a lot and I have this Tuxedo Sam backpack that I brought everywhere. I used it throughout all of my college. Maybe not all, maybe three years of my college. And then I brought it with me when I studied abroad and I brought it to every country I visited while studying abroad. And then I took it with me to every country I've been to in Asia. So it's had some wear and tear. Not really, it's still pretty, it's actually still perfect, just really dirty. But I thought, since it's such a cute one, I don't want to keep using it and I'm really afraid I'm gonna mess it up because I think it's so cute. So I caved and became that bitch and got this Vans backpack. I'm now that bitch. Like I am a Vans bitch now. <laughs> You'll get why I say that shortly. Um I saw this online and I thought it was pretty cute. So it's navy and then this kind of it's pink, but at the same time, it kind of looks like a faded red sort of situation. It's this big old thing. It says Vans off the wall, which I'm iffy on. I'm super iffy on branding. Um, I mean, I have, like, Nike shoes, so of course there's branding there. But I'm so, like, I prefer not having a lot of branding. But it is what it is. This is a good size. This is probably about the same size as my Tuxedo Sam backpack. Um... Why don't you pull on this side? That'd be better. I don't know. It's got these little handles. That's a little snappy snap. Oh my gosh. That is fantastic. So you can kind of... If you need to expand it, you can. That's fantastic. Let's have it keep it expanded. Um, let's open these zippy zips up. I'm such a loser. Hello. <laughs> I have some thoughts on bands, actually, as being super popular. Oh, there she go. On the inside, it is the classic checkerboard with the vans all over it. It's got this little pocket thing, which has some padding in it. So, like, if I wanted to put my laptop back here, I totally could. If I want to keep it separate like that. Otherwise, it's just one big inner pocket with no BB pocket. There's that, and then it has... Well, I still have it completely open. And it has the front pocket here. I'm struggling. Struggling. Boom. Which is one big pocket. And there's actually a little, like, pocket divider. And another little zippy? And a little, so there's, like, little pencil spots in there. And then it has this little zipper baby pocket. You can't see that. Oh my gosh. I can't even see, I can barely see it myself. Um, so there's like a little zippy pocket on this little pocket divider. So I can put stuff in the front. Can you see that? Put stuff in the front there and then put stuff behind it in the front of it and a little zippy. That's nice. It is probably not as big as a front pocket as on my tuxedo sand backpack. This would be nice. Um, I feel like it could expand pretty well since it is a square instead of a traditional like flat bottom circle don't like what is that thing I'm, like a kind of looks like a flat bottom then it's curved on top anyways like a traditional backpack so there's that this wait there's the water bo bottle pocket oh my god there is hello i was paying attention there's another little pocket um i have a water bottle right here can she fit Shit, she can. All right, that has something more than what my current backpack has. Um, well, no, I'm lying to you. My, tux my tuxedo sand one has the big main part um compartment. <laughs> it has a smaller one in the front, and then it has two little baby ones like on the side, like about yay tall, probably like three inches wide, so you can cram stuff in there. So like, 
This is missing that, but I mean, it has a water bottle pocket. That's pretty nice, especially when you travel. So yeah, and it has these little handles, which I also think is nice. So yeah, I think I bought this for $28. I can see the price on there. I think this was like $28 or $24, something like that. Um, and like it originally retailed for like $80. I'm like, no, no, I don't want to backpack. This is about the same price as my tuxedo salmon. I think I sp spent like $35 on that around there. So that's good. I'm not like concerned if this gets dirty because it's also a dark color. But my tuxedo salmon is the light blue. There's that. I am now that fans bitch. <clears throat> bitch. I might be transitioning into <laughs> Did you? this unmarked box is a pair of vans. So before I show you these ones, we'll be right back. This is the section I was talking about. Okay. Like a month ago, I bought some vans. I bought them. I'll read out the oh, exact Thing that's on the box it says old school flame slash true white and a six u.s men seven and a half u.s women a uk five europe 38 or cm 24 which i don't know what cm is came in like the vans box and they are these puppies which are a bright orange they're white the laces used to be white until i got rain dumped on me and then now they're tinted orange as well so i bought these on ASOS as well. And I love them. I love them so much. And then I saw more vans on sale slash clearance. So I bought more. Now my thoughts on vans is I have realized they are have are having a humongous mainstream popularity right now on um, vans. If if you don't know the history of vans, they are of course like their main audience is like skate kids and then like their secondary audience is like punk kids and like rock kids which I consider myself the second part of that I've always wanted to learn how to skateboard and I just never have pretty uncool like that but I am like a skate kid Vans Warped Tour just happened in my area yesterday and I missed it because I didn't have a ride of course but a lot of bands that I listen to have been on Warped Tour which Vans has sponsored or were they the creators of it? I'm not sure. Um, but they've sponsored it for sure. Many, many years. Um, it's kind of just been a tourist. The Vans Warped Tour. Um, for a while now. For, for many years. So I listen to a lot of bands that are on Warped Tour. That have gone on Warped Tour. Tour? Warped Tour? Um, but Vans has had like a super huge mass popularity. All of a sudden. Them and like Converse. Um, Adidas. Just weird. For me personally because i'm just like there's a skate kid and like all these like i have become that basic bitch that owns vans and doesn't skate like <sighs> but i'm not that basic because i listen to a lot of bands like the bands i wanted to see at warped this year that were that were coming to my area because there were a lot of bands that weren't coming to my area <sighs> silverstein yeah and, like take me back sunday except they're coming with coheed and cambria in my area anyways but which i'm not seeing them but like four years strong was the band I wanted to see. Um, the main I wanted to see, We the Kings was something I wanted to see. Like I listened to a lot of pop punk. Um, I listened to some post hardcore and like some metalcore. Like I went to the Blink concert, who which um, opened with like All American Rejects and A Day to Remember. So like I'm still part of Vans demographic, but I was never able to afford them till now. So now I'm just like living out my scene slash emo kid slash punk kid dreams right now but like a lot of people have vans and i'm like because it's not i get it they're comfortable and whatever but they're cute but a lot of them is like it's it's not as posery um a lot of the skate bros i know have vans uh, a lot of like the punk kids i know have vans but then there are some youtubers i follow that are really big I'm like real, real basic. And they have vans. I'm like, this is not, you're not their target audience, but hey, at the end of the day, vans is a business. The more people that buy it, the more they make. So I get it. But at the same time, it doesn't, it's not cohesive with their brand. I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. 
which if I was, if I had some sort of ownership in Vans, like I'd be like, cool, a lot of people like my shoes and whatever, but at the same time, like, but is that the image that I want to have for my brand? Mm, maybe not, but it's what it is. A lot of people like the shoes. They're just shoes at the end of the day. <sighs> Here I am becoming a pretentious jerk over shoes. I'm sorry for that rant, but I'm just, it's just something I noticed that before Vans were very much just for the skate kids, just for like the punk emo scene kids um like metal kids like all of that like a lot of the kids that got made fun of in high school by these people that now own bands too do you know what i mean like like these are the kind of people that are like really preppy like i shop at american eagle i shop at aeropasta i shop at hollister like those people in high school are now adults who wear vans when they were making fun of the kids that wore vans in like high school See, that's kind of weird for me you see and like they still like look down on that whole alternative scene they're like oh that's weird why would you do that like you know anyways <laughs> rant over buy another pair of bands because i'm trash hello but these are different Ta -da! these are really cool they are velvet which is one of my favorite textures and fabrics for a second i thought they smelled fruity that was really weird um, and it is this deep, rich purple, burgundy sort of situation. It's like, it is definitely a red leaning purple. And a little like, eyelets are a deep mauve. Do I want to say that? And then they have a black, what is this called? It's not the sole because the sole is the classic like orangey brown. Like this, like the bottoms are the same. But the size, as you can see, this is white and the black stripe, and this is completely black. This is so cool. And these are seven and a half for women's. It's a black lace, which is nice. So if these get super wet and the purple leaks, well, my laces won't turn purple. I don't know if I want to lace them all the way to the top or not. But yeah, I'm so excited about these. They feel so nice, man. They feel so nice. Um, even the, the tongue is velvet, which is nice. There's the freaking branding right here, which I was unsure of. I like that the branding here is black. Because on the ones that are white, they're red. So, like, I'm so, ugh. like, you can tell a van is a van's is a van's. Like, come on. You know that's van's, but I just, I prefer to have more subtle branding on my stuff. But then again, this also has the white branding on the tongue. So, where it's subtle here, it's not so subtle there, so. But I've noticed a lot of times my tongues don't stay straight. Like this is how they're supposed to be. All of the tongues on my shoes are like end up like that. Do you guys have any sort of recommendation for how to keep that not doing that? Please tell me down below. Anyways, there I am. Hello. Trash. There. My last item. No most exciting. If you saw my Asus haul last last year. I believe I bought a pair of knee high soles over the knee boots and I decided to get another pair of over knee boots. You can see what those are. But these are flat and they have some like groovage. But now that I look at these, they don't seem like they're gonna be that good for the treadage. They're thick. They seem like they look pretty badass. And in the pictures they seem like they would be good, like what I have on. My short boots that I have from ASOS a while ago, my hiker ones, these don't look as good, so I'm kind of nervous. I'm also nervous on how they're going to fit. Uh, I believe that's UK 5.5, so probably is like an 8. Maybe? Do I? Um, we'll see if I return these. I'm going to try this on right now. You won't, well, you won't see it. But they're like a suede... And then a sock boot, is that what I want to call it? It's stretchy, that's nice, that's reassuring. Oh duh, there's stuffing in the fridge. I knew there was stuffing in there, don't look at me like that. Forgot, I definitely forgot. Now I can't, <laughs> can't put this thing on my foot. Can you see it? Stuff on this chair, can you see it? No, not at all. 
There we go. That's what she looks like. It's ridiculous. She's a little big. I thought I ordered like a... It was only in whole sizes when I went up half size. Which isn't too bad because like I can wear socks with them. But I'm thinking they might be too big. I will put an update somewhere on the screen how I feel about it. Somewhere. They're not bad, but they're just like a little bit big. Like there's definitely room in my foot. I'll try. I mean, I have socks on, but they're not, sorry. They're not that thick. In fact, I wouldn't really wear thick socks. I probably would wear just tights with these. We'll see. I might return these. I might. I really like them though. They're cool. Um, they're like, if I was like a archery babe. Anyways, that's it. That's all I got for you. So, I'll also probably try, I should try my bangs. Ah, yeah, man. Look at that. Sick. Did am I skate bro yet? Am I skate bro yet? Dude. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, purple bubble, man. Which is good, because I don't have purple hair anymore. So I feel totally okay wearing a bunch of purple now. Which I don't own a lot of purple anymore, so. Which sucks, because I have orange in my hair. And people are like, did you match your shoes to your hair? I feel, and I have pink shoes, but not hot pink shoes, so there's that. Anyways, that's it. I will keep you updated whether I decide to return those boots or not. Uh, we're gonna try both of them on and probably walk around in them and see how it goes. If they are too, too big to the point I can't wear them at all, or if they're, like, bearable. We'll see. And we'll see how much they are to see if it's worth keeping or not. Well, anyways, that's all I got for you. That was my ASOS order. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you like me, subscribe. What was your favorite item in this haul? Please tell me. I think... It's gotta be either those purple vans or this white belt. Pretty sure. My favorite, obviously, probably out of all of them, with both ASOS orders combined, are these. These are my favorite of everything. I don't know, I just love them a lot. I've been really digging orange. Everyone's out here talking about red and blue and yellow, like all these primary colors. I'm out here like, but orange though. But orange, though. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.